feel like we're pretty laid back. Yeah. Um, we're kind of just doing our music thing for fun, and we're also bringing other people together at the shows that we have, and they have fun too. So that's really what we're about, is having fun and making good music along the way, and kind of seeing how far we can take this. It was actually my brother, I want to say, that kind of introduced me to like guitar music, like more rock stuff. And then from there I got interested in drums around, I think I was like 12 years old. I then stuck with that through middle school, stuck with, it, uh, with high school, and then unfortunately when I moved here, uh, you know, I couldn't bring a drum set into my apartment <laughs> with four people. But yeah. I think it was during the summer recently when Jack, like, we got connected, and um, he was like, do you want to start a punk band? <laughs> I was like, sure. <laughs> I haven't played drums in a while, but we'll give it a shot. And uh, we've been a band for about six months now, and it's been a lot of fun. And it wasn't until I was 11 that I tried playing guitar for the first time, but it was only acoustics. It was very basic stuff. And then I ordered one. gave up. Yeah, and then when I was 14, I got my first electric, and that's when things really took off. And I yeah. decided that playing guitar is one of my passions. I wanted to be in a band ever since I got that guitar, and it's finally happened, like, <laughs> like six years after the fact, but yeah. I founded the Palouse Music Community like two years ago, and really the whole idea was exactly kind of what we talked about, and just not having like a lot of venue options, not having like a sense of creative community. I've been here for four years, a lot of people transferred in, and they thought that Palouse Music was always here, but there were much darker times, you know, four years ago, when you had maybe the same like open mic every Monday that maybe two people came to and it was very much regulars you know Arturo and I were both here like during the summer so like yeah. we would have jam sessions in my basement which was basically like we weren't using the PA system at all it was just two combo amps in like my living space and we were playing like backing tracks off of my computer speakers yeah and then we met Isaac and uh we kind of just formed from there and honestly we were just going to play kind of one show and be done with it and then it seemed like opportunities just kind of kept coming up. Now here we are, and everything that we've done has exceeded my expectations. some more DIY stuff pop up in Moscow. I think that's the biggest difference. Yeah. Moscow has more venues, venues. like infinitely more established venues, but um, Pullman has a bigger DIY presence. And so we feel like if we can bring a similar underground DIY scene to Moscow, then we can really expand like the people that listen to our music. And really our goal is to kind of just connect the two towns and their communities. It almost feels like two different worlds sometimes. It, it's, yeah, it's really sure that's the max I can go without clipping the pre uh, Go ahead and turn it up. You know, we're kind of in the middle between, like, we're not hard enough to go into the metal scene here, and we're not soft enough to play at open mics, so it's kind of like, what do you do? And for something like Timber, that would be a great space, but also they're running a business, and you have to rent it out for a crazy amount of money, and, like, they're, why would they open up their, 
uh, establishment when they have so much success with what's popular being DJ Goldfinger, um, why would they open it up to an underground music scene that's only going to bring in like probably 60 to 70 people when they could bring in 300? I feel like there's kind of an extent where if you want to make it work, you can make it work. It doesn't matter if you play once a week, just choose a consistent time and stick with it, you know. We practice on Wednesdays and Sundays, and sometimes we get to the point where it's like, oh, we got to practice today, but we always end up doing it, and it ends up being a good time. So just stick with something consistently and make as many connections as you can, and you really get out of it what you put into it. I feel like it's like growing a tree. You have to start from the roots, and kind of as it, the tree grows, the trunk, it branches out, and then the branches expand to more branches. We've always been kind of in the mindset of, like, what's the next thing that we can do? Even if we're not, like, super aware of it, we've always grown. I'm burning up in that and growing blood In my smoked out pouring room My hair is shaded in my eye And in my feet to hit the streets at night Cause my balls never dropped out of my sack Are you doing the Cartman voice? Yeah Then it could be that I'm just burning up Bap, 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 your face, bap, 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 your face Oh, 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 they made some dope t-shirts, they want us to be involved, and I'm hoping for an absolute bloodbath right there. I mean, not really like Travis Scott level, but you know what I mean, like, a good time for everybody. sometimes where we write something and it clicks instantly and there's sometimes where we write something and it's not necessarily where we want it to be and we'll go and revise it and go and revise it and go and revise, revise it, it or until we're happy with it you know we have to learn it that's the other thing if someone writes a song everyone has to learn it and we have to get yeah. to the point where we like it yeah. and then we play it I'll just be like, hey, I had this riff in my head, what do you guys think? And I'll play it and they'll be like, that's good or that's absolute shit, we'll do something else <laughs> like we've only been a band for six months so yeah we just start with covers and there's no shame in that you know get your name out there for a bit but now that we've been established already like now we're trying to pump out more original stuff Having a band that you practice with or jam with is like having something captured in a bottle and you need a place to let it out, you know, and I think it's really powerful sharing that with the world. You know, it took me forever to to find these guys that I enjoy playing with this much. Always, you know, keep looking and once you find something uh, that works well for you, stick with it and um, be sure to work on it consistently like Jack said. You don't you don't want to give something like that up. The Cup Show was like one of the first times that like an underground uh, local band got to play on campus. Like usually it's That's like really a cool. twenty thousand dollar SoundCloud rapper or something. Yeah. And then recently we played at Acacia, so we're like yeah. introducing the frats. I want people to remember us as one of the bands that helped build a culture in Pullman because there's two, you know, college towns and college communities here. There's potential, um, but there's been a lot of no's that have come from people that have money and have power uh, regarding venues. and. 
if we can do anything to make someone's life better, to make their weekend better, um, I want people to remember us for that. And I want to keep surprising people along the way with, you know, the original content that we drop and uh, that we're fun guys to be around, maybe, and that we're just trying to have fun. <laughs> Coming out in August, I want to say. The Untitled Album. Untitled Album. Yeah. <laughs> Untitled Spreadsheet. Yes. Untitled Spreadsheet. <laughs> yes. Join PMC. Oh, yeah, join PMC. That's you can how, find stickers all around again. Yeah. We would not be able to do what we do today without police music community. Absolutely. I can't even imagine trying to uh, build a scene that's not here um, while also trying to play music. So thanks to everything. I know I'm biased when I say this because I run it, but there are like, you know, 15 to 20 other people within police music who make digital content, who make, who take pictures, who take extra initiative running door. Um, and this would not be possible without them. So thank you to everybody who's helped make this scene what it is. Nice. <laughs> That's an original, by the way. <laughs>